you mean Canton? All right, James. Well, boys and girls in the chat room listening in live, we do have our special guest here with us tonight, so I'm going to mute a couple people. Mr. Lewis Murphy, the wide receiver of the AFC West league-leading Oakland Raiders. Lewis, how does that sound? What was that? I said, how does it sound at the halfway point to be able to say, the Oakland Raiders, the AFC West league leading, leading that division. Uh, man, that's a great sound, man. But hopefully we can say that at the end of the season. Absolutely. Well, you know what? We, we do appreciate you stopping in and, and, and giving us a few minutes here. My name is Brian Hughes. We, we got a f- few fellow hosts here in the kitchen. And I'm not going to take up – I know you ain't got a whole lot of time. So I'm just going to get right into the meat and potatoes. You know what? When you look at your journey in the NFL, came into the league in 2009, 2010, at the wide receiver position for the Oakland Raiders, you were the man. You led, you led the team in, 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 in yardage in 2009 and 2010. Many people had you penciled in as a starter in 2011. I think injuries have really taken a toll on your ability to get on the field. How hard is that to know you have the ability to help this team, but your body just won't let you? Uh, you know, it's just part of the game. You know, it's, uh, it happens to everyone. Everyone's been hurt before. Everybody goes through injuries. And uh, it's just all about staying patient. Staying patient and uh, just, you know, just staying motivated and and uh, just doing whatever the coaches have for you to do. Absolutely. All right, Thomas? Hey, what's, what's going on, man? What's up, my man? Chilling, man. So I, I got a couple questions. Well, I'm, I'm gonna let it go around the kitchen as much as possible, man. But um, what defensive or, or let me just say, what defensive back do you gear up for when when you see their name on the on the chalkboard or what what uh, responsibility you have coming up Sunday? What defensive back either frustrates you or you bring your A game for? Uh, you. I missed part of the question. My phone was blown up. I didn't hear. Half of the question. I heard you say something. I uh, say about the DBs that go that you go against that like, frustrate you, but I didn't hear the rest of the question. What, okay, so what name like a Revis, like a Cromarty, which which corner or or uh, safety that you gear up for to get ready to burn them, or basically play your A game? Which which defensive back do you think of? Uh, man, off the top of my head. Uh, since they're a divisional opponent, you know, playing against the Broncos and going against Champ Bailey, you know, you have to bring your A game. You know, he's a veteran. He's a, you know, a proven veteran. He's a pro bowler, you know, uh, all star, you know, all the accolades. And, uh, just going against him, you know, twice a year, you know, that's, that's one guy just off the top of my head that is just one guy you know, hey man, you gotta bring your A game, you gotta study up and, uh, you know, really come with it. All right, I'm going to throw this over to James now. Um, Lewis, you recently lost your owner, general manager, um, and, and just in, in a major piece, the, the biggest piece, some might say, of your organization in Al Davis. Um, what does that do to your locker room? Does it galvanize you? And also, what is your, um, what is your best memory of, of Al Davis? And, um Man, my first I answer the question, you know, he, what what losing our Davis means a lot. You know, he uh he was everything to the Raider organization. He is pretty much uh I would say if not, you know, seventy five to eighty percent of why we even have an NFL. He you know, is he was such an instrumental part into, you know, into the success of the NFL. And to lose him, man, it's 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 a it's a tough blow for the for the entire organization and from the top down. And it it changes a lot, man. You know, it, 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 we, you really don't know what's you know what's what. You know, he he was pretty much head over everything, and um, you know, it's just a rough it's just rough. All right, serious. I'm gonna throw it around to your way. Yo, what's up? Uh, what's up, my man? It's Sid from Pittsburgh. Cool question for you. 
you know, the Oakland Raiders were, were picked in many circles to, to be exactly where they're at. You know, how do you feel that your team stacks up against um, elite competition, say maybe the, the Steelers, the Ravens, the Packers? You know, how do you feel that your team will stack up against those type of competition? Um, I think that, you know, it, it, our team – Stack up fine against those teams. The only thing that those teams do have on us is experience. They all were in our shoes at one point in time. You know, they had to get over the hump. And uh, I just think that's where we're at. You know, they they just have more experience. But I think that physically and talent-wise, we match up across the board with anyone in the NFL. All right, Lewis, this is, uh, this is breaking news, Hughes, again. Uh, l- let me ask you a question. You know, I know a lot of Raider fans. We we have a pretty pretty big contingent here in, in in the kitchen, and there was a lot of people, a lot of fans that were up in arms after Tom Cable led this team to its first non losing season in six years and gets fired at the end of the year. What was what was the attitude? What was the mood like in the locker room? Uh, having Tom Cable get fired after you guys swept the division, and then also, how is the culture different with Hugh Jackson in charge? Uh, you know, with Tom Cable, there was a lot of stuff that we found out after, you know, that had a lot to do with uh, him being fired that didn't really have to do with, you know, his coaching ability, you know, stuff that Al Davis saw and that they, you know, talked about that uh, he, that's why he let him go. Um, to answer the other part of the question uh, with Hugh, with Coach Jackson, man, I think he has the locker room. You know, a lot of the guys, the entire team are fighting for him, and, you know, we believe in what, you know, the plans that he has uh, set before us. And uh, I think all the guys are bought in, man. You know, we're first in the division, and, hey, we're playing, we're going to Minnesota, and hopefully, you know, we can come out on top of this game. All right, Lou, Lou, bro. Growing up, you know, what receivers did you, like, idolize? And also, what receivers do you, uh, you know, compare yourself to or basically, uh, you know, try to edge your step, if you will? Like, like, are you watching, like, a, a Calvin Johnson? Are you watching an Andre Johnson? What receivers right now get your energy going? And, and back in the day when you were growing up, what receivers did you basically try to pattern your game after? Uh, growing up, I tried to pattern my game all up. I watched uh, – I was a fan of all the receivers. You know, I was a fan of Jerry Rice, Chris Carter, Michael Irvin growing up. And um, – but now, you know, just – I pattern, I try to take something from everyone's game. You know, I watch a lot of – I watch Steve Smith. I watch Andre Johnson, like you mentioned. I'm, I watch Calvin Johnson, uh, Mike Wallace, uh, Larry Fitzgerald, um, Greg Jennings. Uh, I watch a lot of the guys around the league. Uh, just so I could, you know, try to take a little bit from each one of their games. Um, all right, Lewis, you you spent uh, your last two years in Florida um, being uh, being thrown to by Tim Tebow. In fact, your first ever collegiate uh, touchdown was from Tim Tebow. My question to you is: Can Tim Tebow be an NFL quarterback? <laughs> I, my answer to that is yes, he can, 100%. I believe in him. Uh, he's my quarterback in college. He uh, led us to the national championship in the senior year. And uh, it just takes time, man. It takes time. NFL quarterback is a hard position to learn. And uh, he just pulled out two wins in the last two weeks. And I think that if he just, you know, get some time there and get comfortable, I think he'll be fine. What's up, man? It's your boy, Sarah. Kind of piggyback on your answer you gave the task question. You know, as an NFL player, you're always trying to get yourself better, always trying to grow. You know, since you looked at, you know, other receivers, what part of their game can you take away and add to your game? Maybe it's speed, maybe it's, you know, right running. You know, what, what, what part of your game needs to improve to make you a better receiver? I'm trying to better my game in every aspect. You know, I'm trying to better my game and, and uh, Coming in and out of my breaks, uh, catching the deep ball, catching intermediate short routes, being able to work in the slot. Uh, I try to take stuff from all their games and, and put it together into mine, you know, so, uh, so you know, I can be the best receiver I can be. 
All right, Lewis, this is Breaking News Hughes again. Uh, I'm going to actually I'm gonna bring on uh, – th- this guy is probably the biggest Raider fanatic that we know here in the kitchen. Uh, his name's Steve Smith, and he's, he's from California. And I'm going to let him ask you a question. I know this would be a big honor for him. Steve, you got the floor. Hey, Lewis, lifelong Raider fan. I love you in Invader uniform. Uh, yes, my man. Oh. This question goes about your QB. I know you guys love Jason Campbell and you love having him as your QB. How has Carson came in and and bring, is is he a leader? Like uh, his interviews have seen like he's always praising other people, saying he needs to learn, but always putting the credit for everybody else. He seems like a leader. Is that the is that the mentality he has? Is that what you guys are getting from him? Is he a true leader to you guys? Yeah, he yeah he's came in and he's um. Uh, put in some things in offense and picked up our offense. And, uh, yeah, man, he, he's a leader. He, uh, he wants to win. And, uh, you know, he's really he's really uh, got every, all of the, the offense on board with him. All right, Ty. This is going to be our all last right. round of questions, boys. we got to get we got to get Mr. Murphy out of here. Definitely. So, Lewis, um, <laughs> Be, being Thanks where you're from, you, you, you from, you're from the state of Florida, you know, what what drives you day by day to come out there every Sunday to give your all? Is it, you know, a uh, parent, whether it be your mom or father, a grandparent, you know, if you if you have any children or uh, a child that's inspired you, what do you take to the field that pumps you up, gets your adrenaline flowing on a Sunday? Man, every Sunday is my, mo- my motivation is my family. And my mother, you know, my mother, I lost my mother uh, two years ago to breast cancer. And uh, she is up in heaven watching over me every Sunday. And that's when I feel closer to her because she, you know, she was the one who, you know, took me to my little league games, took me to my high school practices, you know. And um, so I just go out there every weekend and play for her. And uh, that's my motivation, man. I don't, I don't need anything else but that. All right, last question from me, Lewis. Um, I, and I always ask this question. This is my favorite question um, to ask all the players that come in. Um, if uh, if you were sitting in front of a room full of children and they all asked you what it would take to be the next great Florida wide receiver, to be the next great Oakland Raider, um, what would you say is the, the biggest thing outside of hard work to uh, to really concentrate on? Uh, the biggest thing outside of hard work, I would say, would be uh, to uh, to keep God first, to stay motivated, stay focused. Uh, don't let anyone tell you that you can't do it. Um, no matter how many naysayers you have, no matter how many doubters you have, just uh, take that uh, negative energy and use it as fuel for motivation. What's right, serious? It's a pleasure for you to come on by and take it with us. One last question, kind of like my man, Bob. I always end with this. You know, uh, one of these, a lot of pro athletes are involved in charity work and different things like that. If you if you have any, you let us know what type of charities you're involved with, kind of elaborate on that and how, you know, somebody like myself will be able to get involved or and donate to your charity. Uh, yeah, I have a, a foundation back home that I do. It's uh, named after my mother. It's the MENA Foundation, Making an Impact in the Athlete. And I run it through my church program, Mount Zion Human Services, and we run a football camp every every year to uh, earn money for inner-city programs, inner-city youth programs, um, SAT testing, ACT testing. We do um, a bunch of stuff with the Girl Scouts and Boy Scouts. We put pretty much all the stuff through our foundation. You can reach us on MZ hs dot org um, and pretty much it man it's, it's it's getting up and going more and more it's not completely done but you know with with as many people as we can help in the community in the city community that's what we try to do. Well, Lewis, this this is uh, breaking news, Hughes. Again, I just want to say on behalf of Sports City Chefs Network. We truly appreciate the time, um, and I'm sure that our, our fans and our listeners appreciate the time.